Hey, it's David Andrew. Today I want to talk about something that is very foundational to having a successful artistic career. It's not necessarily easy, it can be challenging at times, but what I want to talk about is the power of taking an ownership mindset. In other words, taking ownership of your goals, your objectives, your intentions, and even the results and outcomes you produce in your music career. So often what people do is they don't take ownership of any of it. So they end up blaming the venue, they end up blaming circumstances, the weather, the hockey game, pretty much anything they can think of. Well, you know, no one turned out to our show because tonight there was a hockey game and everybody was going to see that. Well, who is responsible for booking the show? It was you, wasn't it? Or it was at least someone in your band. I can't imagine it was your manager or your agent. So why aren't you taking ownership for that? I think oftentimes people don't want to be on the hook for anything, which is why they don't commit. But when you are on the hook for something, you have the chance to be paid immeasurably more for the work you do. Another way of thinking about this is entrepreneurial mindset versus employee mindset. Why do entrepreneurs get paid more for what they do? Because they take on the bulk of the risk. So are you willing to take on the bulk of the risk for the chance at a better income in your music career? Now, what's the difference between an entrepreneurial mindset and employee mindset? Here's a statement that really brings it into view. Employee mindset is working for other people and money. And an entrepreneurial mindset is having money and other people work for you. Now, you're a creative, you're an artist. Obviously, you're going to be the one working on your music, probably doing some songwriting or composing or arranging, recording in the studio, performing live. You're going to have different responsibilities as an artist. So that part you'll want to take ownership over yourself. It's not necessarily about having other bands work for you, right? Unless you're planning to start a label, which might be a cool entrepreneurial endeavor. Don't get me wrong, I've thought about doing that too, and I might still start a label here someday. But practically speaking, the way that we can have money and other people work for us is by hiring virtual assistants and freelancers, graphic designers, photographers. When you digitally distribute your music. That, in effect, is an entrepreneurial mindset because it's not something you're doing yourself. You're paying other people to do that work for you. And there are many opportunities. You don't necessarily have to dish out huge amounts of money to get work done on your behalf. I remember stuffing envelopes with my bandmates and my sister. Nobody got paid for it. I think we might have shared a pizza later that night, but everybody was there for the common reason of let's get this band out there and see if we can get it booked. So we were putting together a postal mail campaign. So the question I'm going to leave you with is where can you take more ownership? of your music career? Where are you not taking ownership of your music career? Because if you begin adopting an ownership mentality, you have a greater chance at producing results and outcomes that you want and being paid what you're worth. What I've just shared with you is part of the Music Entrepreneur Companion Guide. I'm giving this book away for free for a limited time. You'll want to go to musicentrepreneurhq.com slash free book to get your own copy. This has been episode 288 of the New Music Industry Podcast. I'm David Andrew Weave, and I look forward to seeing you on the stages of the world. Thank you for listening. Music in this episode was brought to you by Brian Young. Wherever you're listening to this right now, please consider leaving a five-star review and comment to help us get the word out about the podcast. Thank you.